Hey guys, Prime Matrix 1986 here, and today I wanted to do a, a little video on how I keep up and organize my Walker Dead comic book list. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I've been having a lot of people uh, talk about it, and uh, a lot of people in the comic community kind of have uh, different ways of doing it, and this is my way. Uh, so, I haven't really pulled any inspiration from anybody, I just kind of put this together myself. Uh, so, hopefully, uh, this can help you guys. It's very, very simple once you see what I did. Um, so, if you want to see how to make uh, two columns here and uh, Word, what I did is I just went to Layout and Columns and hit 2. Um, so, there's that. Um, so, what I did here is I have uh, three categories, well, technically four. Um, I have The Walking Dead First Print Issues, uh, which, of course, was obviously first print. Uh, miscellaneous issues, which would be like your specials, here's Negan, Survivor's Guide to Weekly Issues. You know, ones that don't really have a specific category. Um, then I have notes here, like, uh, like my note right here is at number one, 27 second print is damaged. Uh, so obviously I need to get another version of that. Uh, but if you don't have anything to note, then this is really not necessary. But anyways, moving on, here in this other column, I like to keep, you know, my first prints in one column and my variants in another column. It just kind of, you know, divides it, and, uh, you know, it just kind of makes it easier to look at and everything. But my variants, is obviously a lot here. <laughs> Um, and these specials, of course, so, so what I do is that, like, I, uh, will bold the, uh, you know, issue number or what it is, and without it being in bold, I'll put in parentheses what the variants are, like, this is the Michonne second print, and the free comic book day, which is what FCBD stands for, of course. The Here's Negan are all, um, hard books, like, hardcover uh, volumes, and I have all the variants of that, so I'll put that here. Uh, but if we get on to like other issues, like number 97, it's a second print, 98, second print, 99, second print. And the reason why I put in parentheses, and then you come to things like number 100, where number 100, I have the second print, third print, Mega Box 2016, Barnes and Noble, and so forth. And I also like to include the artist proof as well, because that's like the big tall issue. Uh, it's, it's a number 100 issue, I mean, so I just kind of consider it a variant. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much everything I have. There are some cases, like right here with the number 115 variants. I have, uh, you know, A through O, so there's no point in me putting B, C, D, E, F, G, A, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. Whenever you can just put, you know, A through O. Uh, and same with, like, the Shiba Force variants. I just put number 115 through number 126. And I also put the All Out War AP Edition hardcover book. Because, I mean, it does cover those issues as well. Because uh, Shiba Force, of course, has two issues and one issue, so you really can't consider that like a variant, because it's, you know, two issues. Uh, plus, it just kind of makes it easier this way. And with things like the Whisper War, you know, again, there's really no point in putting, like, you know, each of the individual issues. I just put 157 through 162 Whisper War variants. Um, so, it's not too hard. Um... So that's pretty much everything here. Now, this you don't have to do, but since it's now my goal to try to get all the number 100 variants, I made a second page here where I put the Walking Dead issue number one variant list. And I researched and I tried to find every single number 100 variant I could. And this is everything I found. And the ones in bold and crossed out are the ones I own. Um, so like if I was to get the image first, number 2015, I would just highlight it, bold it, and cross it out, of course. Um... Uh, would look like that so that's kind of how i'm doing it because obviously there are a shit ton of number 100 shit not, not number 100 number one variants uh so yeah there, there's definitely a lot there um now one thing i do want to show you guys is and oh by the way before i get into it if you're wondering what the number 87 and number 53 why they're highlighted it's because these are actually signed issues and I want to get a second copy for my comic collection itself, uh, because to me, I consider this like some memorabilia, kind of separate from my it's just standard comic collection. So maybe it's just the OCD in me, but uh, you know, all the other signed issues I have, I have a second copy for you know, again, the comic collection. But uh, so yeah, that's why that's there. Just wanted to go and throw that in there. But anyways, though, going moving back to what I was gonna say is with this right here, the number of, of uh, ah, I can't talk. The first print issues I have. What I do right here is these are all, you know, I list everything I have. And, uh, 
basically what I would like to do is whenever I get the number 51 and 52, this is what I did before to save room. So let me go and type it in and, and let's pretend again I just got a really, really good deal and um, I'm going to go ahead and get the number 51 first print. Be good if I could type though. And the number 52 second print. So instead of having all of this right here, what I would do is since I have, um, you know, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and so on, to save space, I would just simply do this. I would highlight everything and cross it out. So then that way I have number 43 to current. Uh, so that way it kind of saves room and everything, and you see exactly what you're missing. So uh, that's pretty much what I would do, uh, you know, before whenever I was trying to get, like, the weekly issues, for example. Um, it works out pretty good. Um, and, again, it kind of keeps everything on track. And, in a way, it kind of makes you have a goal because, like, I really, really do want to fill in the number 51 and 52 gap and the 41 and 42 gap. So then that way I could have 37 to current, if you see what I'm saying. Uh, so it kind of keeps you motivated. Of course, I didn't always go by just that. I obviously, you know, went by everything I possibly could uh, if I found, like, a good deal. But it did help, though, to kind of motivate me like that. Um, so, uh yeah, that's pretty much it, though, guys. Um, at this point, I'll be kind of babbling on. Uh, if you want to get a quick look at my collection, though, <laughs> at least by my list, uh, this is everything I have, which obviously is a lot. Um, it may not look like a lot since I could fit all that on one page. Uh, here's all the, all the number one variants, of course. It's going to be a while before I work on those. But anyway, so if you kind of look at, like I said, there's obviously a lot like this right here is number two, the number 52 of weekly issues. Uh, so yeah, I, I definitely have a lot of comics. And of course, number 53, the current, you know, the current issue that just came out was issue number 178. So that's obviously a lot of comics. It just helps, you know, as a collector to know exactly what I have. And of course, um, down here, for example, with the number 175 through 180, 15th anniversary variants. Obviously, I don't have numbers 179 or number 180 yet, but I go ahead and put that because there's really no point in, um, in, you know, me having to go back and do it each time. Because, I mean, I know I'm going to pick those up whenever the comic is released. Um, and you also may be wondering, by the way, why is it that, you know, I put number. 53 through current if I know I'm going to be getting all the variants from here on out Well, the reason why I say that is because you know every now and then they have a very very rare variant like a great example is I was getting every single variant never started reading in issue number 150 at least monthly of course and uh, I mean look at number 171 now they have a pink variant you know and uh, you never do know whenever they're, whenever they're going to go back and do more variants so that's why, like with the Mega Boxes, I put the year it was released because you know what? Well, there is another Mega Box one fifteen eventually. You don't want to confuse it. Um, so that's why I do that with. That's why I put some dates like the Image Expo twenty twelve. You know, just in case. Um, but yeah. Anyways, though, guys, like I was saying, that's it for this video. Uh, let me know how you guys do it. Uh, you know, how, how do you keep track of your comic collection? Uh, you know, does something like this help you guys? Uh, I'd love to hear exactly what y'all have to say. This is personally how I do it. Um, so yeah, that's it, though, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I will definitely catch you all later.